get backup creator to clone yourself. Once you're rolling, keep cranking them out. But that doesn't that doesn't get you the videos. That's a different program for the videos to grab. Yeah, the video. well, look at it this way: once you put that program on one on, on one theme, every time you push it out there, it's already there, and all you got to do is put the keywords in there because it's already within the within the, the the theme itself. You just go ahead and you just put them out there, and all you do is put the keywords for each one of them, for each one, for each one, for each one, and keep pushing them out, pushing them out, pushing them out. You see, see how easy it is? Yeah. You know, I mean, it's just, that's that's why you do so many. You don't have to do all this stuff that other people are doing, sit down and try to design the whole site. To, like this one, it takes more time because it's it's original content. And, you know, I wrote this and, and you know, as far as for each page that's going to be built on here, I'm going to expand on it. But it's more for marketers and stuff, you know, cloak and affiliate links, get traffic with blog comments, and I do videos for each one. So it'll turn into a pretty big site. And for some reason, people were coming here and I'm making a little money on it, okay? But I look at it this way. I'm not making a lot of money with this website right here, but I'm making some money on it. But look at it this way. I'm looking at the big picture. You're making some money on 150 websites in a month. You're making a killing. The next, or in a week, you're making a killing. The next week, you put up another 150. So while it's propagating and taking effect and everything else, and, and everything's happening in the background, you're turning around while your other sites are making money. Now those sites start making money. So then you, I mean, it just keeps building and building and building. That's the way you do it. Everybody else is struggling out there. You know, they're trying to struggle doing things. I look at the things that I don't have to struggle a lot to do. <laughs> I got a buddy of mine that wants to do a WordPress little membership site. You know, he kept, and, I, and he's probably got a lot of interest for it. I don't know. Yeah. Like maybe even uh, a, a site on WordPress itself, you know. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, you can do that, too. You know, you can put up a website. The, so I, I got that uh, the Insta member. Yeah. Uh, and I was promoting it as well and made some sales, okay? So, and I think it's really, really good, all right? But I'm, I'm finding that the membership sites, unless you put something up and people go to it, I mean, it, it's a lot of work to, to set them up. But the thing is, for this, what I'm doing right here, there's not that much a work. a whole lot less. Yeah, it, it's like my CPA that I do. You know, when I have all these guys, I give them all these boxes, I give them all these flyers, brochures, these cutoffs, I give them all these cards and everything else, and they just go out and do it while I'm sitting in my home and, and enjoying my time doing stuff like this. You know, it's on autopilot. I get everything set up so it's on autopilot. With this right here, you put it out, you're done. You just sit back and it's on autopilot. Every now and then you go back to the site, you randomly check them out, you make sure everything is, is, is the way it's supposed to be, and then you go from there. The money's going to be made, period. The money's there for you. Let me put this oh, back another thing place. I found out, too, about Hostgator is they don't do backups every day. Their backups are like every couple of weeks. So if you depend, trying to rely on them for your backups, you're going to be hurting really bad. That's the reason why I also clone all my websites. I, 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 you know, make copies of every single one of them. So if anything does happen, and I do it, and, and I have it set up, so I do it like once a week. But if anything does happen, I know automatically that at least I have something to fall back on. So I'm you, not going to lose everything in its entirety. So you're using that backup creator just to make sure oh, for yeah, that? Oh, yeah, I, I right. do that too. Yeah, I back up all my stuff. And, okay. and uh, you know, because I got these massive websites, you know, and what you want to do is get it back up there. And I remember when I did this, when I first did the first one with that backup creator and I cloned the site, when I put it out there, I got all that video on there. And, and that's why you want to do it with a shell, you know, a website that's just set up like that and everything else like this. And then you can go ahead and push it out and put your information in there. Like I said, with this, it, it will pre-populate the video and, and all that other stuff. But with those, it, it, my first one I pulled in, it pulled in all that video. So what I did is there was a plug-in that was on uh, WordPress that I pulled in it instantly deleted all the posts the way I wanted them to within a matter of seconds. I said, oh, this is cool. I didn't even have to go through it and try to delete over 3,000 different videos. <laughs> oh, wow. So, so but, but what I liked about it is it pulled it in, and when I put it back on a subdomain, all the videos were there. Everything was there as if I never left that website. That was the beauty of it. Every, all the plugins I had on there were there as if I never removed them. Okay. So it, it did everything perfectly. I never used any backup, anything that has done it as well as this here. 
Okay. So I said, okay, that's cool. I like that. And that's what I needed. So now I'm doing it now and I'm setting it up. So I said, well, I'm going to clone these things. And I'll clone the shell and I'll push it out. I'll push it out. I'll push it out at that point. And then, you know, as far as the AdSense, I can put the 